guys, Swift 46 here, and today we're going to take a look at uh, how to win your gold wager. The w wager I'm talking about specifically is the one where you have to kill at least one enemy plane and win the battle. Now, uh, for most of you, killing one enemy plane isn't too far out of the question. However, how do you win the battle? Well, um, you can take your chances in realistic. Uh, that's definitely a thing. Uh, I've personally don't fly simulator battles so that's out of the question for me uh the only other thing to do would be uh air arcade battles in my opinion and the reason why is because russia um as you can see i have a specific preset uh for this mode and for this uh challenge specifically um what i have here is the yak 3p with uh it's uh, was it three 20 mils the la5 FN with its two uh, 20 mils, the B25 premium plane with its uh, three or three 3,000, well, three 1,000 pound bombs. Um, for ground attack missions, we also have the I-185 uh, M82 is uh, versatile because it can carry bombs. And to finish off, we have the Yak-9T or the Yak-9K, whichever you prefer. Now, this is a pretty sweet lineup for me, personally, and I'll go over why in one minute. But, um, yeah, so basically, Russia, uh, big guns, that's what you're looking for. That's all of these planes have big guns, except the B-25, which is a bomber for ground attack, uh, in case you have to take out a column of tanks or bomb out a base, or usually pillboxes or tanks is what you're going to do. But, um, yeah, Yak-3P, general purpose plane, very good at landing on airships for um, dominations. Uh, very good at killing planes is usually my first plane I take out. LA-5 is uh, fast, faster than the 9T. Um, not as maneuverable, so I consider it uh, my expendable plane, like just to kind of have in there as like a meat shield so I can save uh, these two planes for later on. This plane is similar to the Yak-3P in that um, it's a good well-rounder, but the Yak-3P is definitely more maneuverable. The Yak-9T, for obvious reasons, because it's just troll, and it's amazing. Just don't miss your shots. <laughs> and the B-25 for the ground attack. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the battles. I have two of them lined up for you. We're going to see exactly what it takes to win. Alright guys, welcome. Uh, we've got uh, two battles for you. One's in air domination mode. The other is a ground strike mode, but let's get on to this uh, domination. And so, like I said before, I usually take out my Yak-3P first, just to secure that kill. Because uh, it only counts if you kill somebody. Uh, yeah. So, um, generally... Well, okay, let's, let's go over the basics first. Uh, obviously, zoom climb, but um, before you even start doing this, you got to, um, you got to have like a certain mindset you know, and you have to kind of scout it out too. Like, go go ahead and play a couple games in arcade and see if you're getting wins. If you're not getting wins, don't worry about it. Try try again tomorrow. Um, so yeah, once you scout it out, once you feel confident that you can uh, actually do this, you kind of got to like get all serious and go beast mode. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I got up to like uh, level 15 on on this gold wager, and I was like at level eight. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I just I cannot mentally and like physically handle the stress of this level of gameplay anymore i just wanna like just get this challenge over with so i can just like relax and like if i die i die i don't care if i lose i lose i don't care but you just can't do that you have to um you have to uh be like ready to win ready to play you know what i mean all right so if you haven't already go ahead and turn up your uh was it resolution to the highest you possibly can to read the chat as um, I'm going to be kind of very uh, straightforward in the com like pretty much a commander would be uh, straightforward short short words just enough to uh, get the point across of what I'm trying to get the team to do um, obviously derping around with this B25 but whatever um, all right, so let's uh, let's talk about uh, this. I, I like to think of them as uh, three stages of uh, of this battle. The first stage is the initial push. You kind of figure people are taking their best planes out right now, 
and there was a kill so we got we got the first thing done anyway so people are taking their best planes out right now so what you want to do is play kind of defensively um, obviously in a domination offensively to get those caps um, get them under your control and then just uh, do this kind of uh, flight pattern that I'm doing you just uh, fly high dive on somebody kill them fly back to your friendly airspace zoom climb loop like I just did and then fly fly in to repeat the process and what you're doing is you're trying to eliminate the top players um, eliminate any planes that are threats um, generally in dominations um, more often than not there's some kind of uh, ground targets so you want to do is keep your ground targets alive so they can't cap the airfield if the ground targets are on you know the runway and unless they kill all those tanks so I prioritize bombers uh, for this first one and see this guy is is my second bomber that I'm trying to shoot down and he has isolated himself from his team unfortunately someone else got the kill it doesn't matter the bomber was prioritized now we're gonna zoom climb back around and lather the lather rinse repeat uh, the process all over again and there's another bomber so let's go ahead and uh, get into attack position hopefully it'll uh, getting him out of the game before he can kill too many of our tanks <clears throat> so at about this point we're in the uh, second half of the first stage of the game uh, figure people have like I usually give him about six planes so we've killed a couple there's almost another one. Ah, assist. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you get the one kill. As long as you're doing your job. You know? Um, killing, Trying to kill the bombers. You're fine. Alright. Um, another reason why uh, this particular map especially. It's very important to pay attention. And when you're doing that zoom climb loop around technique. Um, you can see what's going on. And as you're climbing and as you're uh, coming back in slowly you have time to tell your teammates what to do um, obviously you have to be correct in your um, your calls um, as I just said get them off a like I, I would that's how the tone has to come across get them off a like you like serious like, do it now or I will personally find you and kill you kind of thing um, just that's that's just the level of intensity you have to have when you're talking uh, to your teammates. Now, obviously, uh, this particular team was pretty good, and they they wanted to win, so they they did uh, follow through with that command. Um, whether or not I actually gave it gave it, and they followed it, or they're just good, and they just did it because they know how to play. That's irrelevant. <coughs> but. Um, yeah, I would say that I had a pretty big influence on on uh, the teams. I, you know, get to stage 15, something's going on. All right, so yeah, like I say you got to play like you want to win. Um, so cap immediately after, and we can do that because our team is good enough. All right, I'm just saying, like, attack. Like, get them off of A. There's so many planes here. This is probably uh, the this middle stage of the game right about now. Right, I'm like, what does that say? Is, uh, keep them off A or something like that. Like, yeah, you got to, like, bark it out at your team, basically. That's how you, that's how you have to uh, say it. All right, so I got my first death. Fine, whatever. Um, we're winning. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the uh, the 9T simply because it's a uh, it's a good plane killer, and all we have to do is keep them off A. That's it. So it's like the mid mid game, the end game. People are starting to run out of planes. Should be checking the the scoreboard to see how many people are are dead, but they didn't. Yeah, see, it's probably like a mid end game. Yeah. So basically, when when this happens, is uh, if you play defensively, like like I was doing in this game, um, you should have more planes than them. So now they're running out of planes. You're not. So you can keep up the pressure on them. Push the pace of the push the pace of the game forward in your favor. And so yeah, they're they're capping, which is fine. 
but you have to play like you're gonna win and so you gotta you gotta get down you gotta land you gotta do it as fast as you possibly can yak 9t is not the best plane for landing so you have to be careful um, a good rule of thumb is uh, when you're speed landing because you can keep your gear out past its ripping point uh, as you listen for your engine when it starts to um, rev down then it's a good point uh, you may have missed it there but uh, they had a, a, a tank on the airstrip that we had to kill <clears throat> I called it out on the uh, battle chat and just a bomber just happened to be um, on a bombing run and he bombed it while I was on the airstrip so as soon as that tank was dead we capped so it was a pretty smooth transition and that's what I'm talking about you gotta look for teams like that before you even get into this uh, gold thing all right, so let's take a look at the scoreboard and see how we did. Now, we didn't necessarily do the best, but it doesn't matter because we won. We got our gold wager done. That's all that matters. One kill, one assist, but we did our job. We uh, prioritized the bombers first, and that's what uh, let us win. All right, so that's, um, that's one thing. So... Now we go ahead and go on to a, a ground strike mission. Again, there's um, very distinct uh, phases of gameplay. I would say even more so in, in ground strike than domination. Domination is basically just uh, it's basically more or less two phases: the the middle phase, second phase, and the third phase are just um, basically the same. Except when one team has more planes than the other, then you either push or be defensive. But it's in a uh, ground strike. Um, it's obviously a ground strike mission, so you have to um, you have to uh, manage the ground targets a little bit differently than you would in domination. So anyway, the uh, first thing you always do in any mission really is uh, prioritize the bombers. I know it's boring. I know it's not fun, um, but it's something you have to do. And if I'm on my game, I would tell the people in the battle chat target the bombers I'd be like fighters kill bombers like just simple straight up English like that just um, as minimal words to get the point across as possible um, I remember this this one game it was like fighters cover a or bombers attack ground targets you know stuff like that and it, it happens very quickly and sometimes you have to do multiple commands like fighters get them off a or fighters you know be like fighters cover a bombers attack b you know stuff like that it all depends on the maps and usually those happen with uh triple airfield dominations but anyway let's get back to this game i'm, I'm rambling i do that occasionally all right so first phase of this battle i have my yak 3p out and we're gonna go target bombers um why because they're the ones that can win the win or lose the game all right, yeah, see there's the chat. I'm saying kill bombers and then our bombers go low and attack. Um, why? Well, because I felt like it. No, because um, we're trying to take out them and we're trying to get the, uh, the uh, points in our favor as quickly as you possibly can. Just to give us some cushion just in case things go wrong really quickly. Now, you got to play like you want to win, and Russians at, in Arcade can do that because they have really big guns, and that's... That guy should have been dead if this was realistic, but because it's Arcade, you got to pummel them full of shots a lot more, and the big cannons certainly help with that. Hopefully, get this guy on this pass. I forgot what, what I actually did, but... Oh my gosh, die. <laughs> he should be... Yeah, he's not going to be able to control his plane to do any bombing. So yeah, let's get let's get back up in the air. Um, obviously, if you know how to use the command uh, system, call out any bombers in this early stage of the game to let your team know that they're even there. Um, sometimes you get behind enemy lines and you're the only guy that can see where the bombers are spawning in. It's like, hey guys, they're spawning in like three bombers. Uh, you might want to start climbing up here to intercept them. Of course, you'd say three bombers spawned or something like that. You know, just short, quick, to the point. 
Oh my god, that B-25 is still alive. That's ridiculous. Oh well, don't have time to deal with him. There's a fuzzball down here. Guess not. Yeah, see, I forgot what I was going to do. I forgot what I was doing in this game. Maybe I felt like I wouldn't want to dive in on that. And get behind, uh, let these guys go in first so they're, the people down below have something to think about. Good, that bomber died. And now we can dive on some fighters. I mean bombers, because that's a bomber, sorry. <laughs> it's kind of a blurry screen on mine, so. Is it? Come on. Missing a lot of shots. Engine's a little pink, that's fine. He's on fire. No, he's not on fire now. Alright, what's next? P-47. Eh, not necessarily a bomber, but it's a, um... It's uh, an attacker. It has bomb capabilities. Alright. So, at this point, um, I'm feeling like, uh... Let's use the meat shield plane. You know, just, uh... Just to put some padding in there. It's not my best plane. It's, uh, but, uh... It's probably, what, stage... Yeah, we're in stage two. Of, uh, people are out of their... In theory, anyway. Out of their best planes. Oh, we got some spawn campers in there. Um, uh, taking a look at the tickets, um, constantly. Uh, we're not in any danger of losing. But we're not in, really, pushing to win, either. So, that's why I've felt comfortable taking this plane out. We're just gonna work over some fighters here. Obviously, uh, kind of force the hand with that spawn camper uh, down there. <clears throat> um, kind of made me dive low, so we're going to just work over some fighters. Uh, try to thin them out even more than they already are. Hopefully, they don't have any bombers in their lineup that they haven't been using. Because if they do, we're in trouble. Yeah, there's a guy on my tail, he's not leaving me alone. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's about how I felt after after this uh, little adventure was over. Man, it's just so it's so exhausting. Unfortunately, we got uh, a little sidetracked on our uh, adventure there and got hit on by a P-47, a valid target. But again, there was a guy on me, so not much I could do. It doesn't really matter. I, in fact, I probably at that point preferred to die because I I knew I needed to get into my B-25. And for me, this is the uh, the second phase of a ground assault is, okay, so we're not really losing, but we're not really winning. Time to push it. And as you can see in the chat, we need bombers to kill the pillboxes. Tanks and pillboxes. Don't go after the bases. Whatever you do, don't go after the bases. You're going to have to take two or three passes on them to kill them, and they're not even going to really take away that many points. Meanwhile, if you hit the tanks and the pillboxes, every single one you kill takes off some points. You might not be as much as a base, but over the period of time that it takes you to kill the base, eh, you get more out of your out of the pillboxes and tanks. Plus, you get more XP and credits for doing it. It's just more efficient bombing. Little tip there. So, what's going on? Well, there's a P-51, so I'm freaking out. I'm telling them hit that guy, kill him, get him out of the game. I'm not sure if they did. Either way, we're coming up on our targets. And I'm going to be honest here, I'm not an expert in with the uh, Russian B-25, or the American one maybe, but um, high altitude bombing with these uh, different loads, because uh, it surprised me at first, um, the Americans, they use pounds, the, the Russians, they use the kilograms, so the bombs are, are different, different sizes. So, I'd only dropped one on that pillbox, but I make it a habit now to drop, I just drop all three, basically. My reload time is, is fast enough. I can, I can afford to do that. It's, it's worth it to secure that kill. As you can see, um, with the ticket counters, they got the same idea with phase, um, phase two of the game. It's time to start pushing those ground targets. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. If you didn't notice there, um, with the throttle, I did slow down to about 30% of throttle just to get the bomb target 
uh, hovering over the over the the bomb site, hovering over the target as uh, long as possible, so I can uh, accurately drop that bomb. I think it helps. Um, yeah, it says I killed a ground target. It is the uh, AA? <sighs> Excuse me. Um, had a busy day uh, shoveling dirt to fill up our backyard with uh, bark dust and stuff. So, um, yeah, the thing about this, uh, this plane, though, is it seems like I can kill the AA, like the, but I can't kill the pillboxes, because, like, the bombs drop behind it, where you're aiming, or in front of it, depending on how you look at it, they don't drop dead center, but, yeah, you want to kill the pillboxes. I'm only bombing this base, because, um, my reload time is fast enough. It's only 40 seconds. And by the time I turn around and, uh, you know, get on it, it'll be fine. Um, it'll take, yeah, see other people are killing stuff too. Good stuff, good stuff. And then it'll give someone else an opportunity to say, hey, there's a damaged base. I can go bomb that and then knock some tickets down really quick. And I was just, you know, at the time probably getting very frustrated um, bombing pillboxes and not hitting them at high altitude. So I just uh, softened up a base for someone else to, to deal with. So, it's about time to turn around. Should happen any second now. So the bombs are back up, so let's go ahead and line up on a, on a pillbox here. And I'm not sure... I know I'm I know I'm running out of uh of time to talk about how to win. I'm not really sure if I actually get to take out my fighter bomber, but yeah, if if you do get to this stage of the battle little dirt moment there, can't figure out <laughs> which way is up. <laughs> Looks like the pilot's been drinking too much vodka. <laughs> um but anyway, yeah, if you get to this point in the battle where it's like it's this close, get your fighter bomber um, and just push the ground targets like crazy. Uh, forget about forget about um, fighters. Don't worry about it. Just kill the ground targets. Win the battle. That's the important thing. And that, that would definitely be uh, stage three of the three stages. Number one, kill bombers. Number two, get in a bomber and uh, kill stuff ground targets and if you need to stage three uh, get in a fighter bomber and just ignore all the fighters obviously be smart about it but just only worry about killing those ground targets especially when it's as close as it is here I mean uh, it isn't now but it was a lot closer could have went either way um, I was freaking out um, cause, you know you only get three chances to mess up, I just go went ahead and dropped two bombs there because you know I'm getting sick of missing, and we just need one more pillbox killed. So let's just you know hedge our bets here. No, actually thinking about it, I might go back and check my crew and see what the weapon maintenance is for this thing because it is arcade, and so I'm not. What I do is I have a super crew, and I only when I play realistic, you only get one one life, so you just put all your crew points into that one crew slot. But this is arcade, so I might not have my super crew on the B25. I'm not sure, but uh, looks like we won because we uh, paid attention to the ticket counters. We followed the three steps and the three phases of the battle. And let's go see um, how we did. And yeah, just um, running out of video, but yeah, just uh, you have to really be on fire. Like you have to play like you want to win, um, super hardcore. But uh, yeah, that's how you win your gold battles. So um, there it is. If you guys like the video, um, feel free to give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more. Um, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right.